What's up, Pursuit Nation? It's your president, KHG59 Gaming here, and today we are back in the MLP with our Week 7 battle against Mace, uh, coach of the Trenton Torteros. Uh, before I get into this video, I kind of want to explain what happened to Week 6. Uh, we got a forfeit win. That's really all I need to say. Uh, so, sorry if I'm sniffling today. I'm really sick. <clears throat> uh, uh, anyways, uh, looking at Mace's team, I have... The worst matchup I've had all season so far. He's got uh, Bulu, Suicune, Flygon, Galvantula, Frostside, Spidior, Arbaldo, Mega Metacham, Heatran, Scrafty, Skunk Tank, and Ursaring. Uh, I have so much trouble breaking Bulu, Tran, um, and Suicune in general as my uh, electric type is Rotom Wash and uh, my... Uh, grass type is Delmize. I'm going to explain why that's an issue. But uh, Flygon is very scary because my Fairy and Steel are both weak to ground. So that's nice. Galvantula webs could be annoying, so I'd be surprised if it come. Mega Metacham kills my entire team, so that has to come. I don't really expect too much else, though. But looking at the team I'm bringing, I'm bringing uh, Stealth Rocks, 3 Attacks, Mega Diancy, um... I'm bringing Flame Orb, uh, Conkelder, Life Orb, Fake Out, plus three attacks, Sneasel, uh, Fully Fizz Def, Yachi Berry, uh, Domize for the Mega Metacham, uh, Choice Specs Explode, and, uh, Spideff Mudsdale, Chesto Resto. So, looking at the team he brought, it's kind of what I expected. He brought Frostlass and, uh, Scrafty, not exactly what I'm ex expected out of them. Everything else I pretty much expected. Cloud not to see Flygon. He said he didn't bring it because of Scarf Latias. Just get to plus two. It's not that difficult. <sighs> anyway, uh, I completely forget about this game. I played it Saturday night, and I'm recording this on Tuesday afternoon. So, nice. Uh, yeah, I lead off with Sneasel, and he leads Bulu. Um, I could easily Icicle Crash right here, but um, I believe I just go for the Fake Out. Sorry if I don't get these correct, but yeah, I just go for Fake Out. Um, that shows he's a very bulky Scrafty, um, probably just like max HP, so I'm clearly not going to kill it with anything, so I'm going to switch out into my Conkelder because I do not expect him to go for a knockoff. And luckily for me, well, also unluckily for me, one, he gets a free switch into Metacham, but I do get my Flame Orb off, which is nice. He, he didn't knock off my Flame Orb. Like, that would have been worst case scenario if I didn't have my Flame Orb because then I wouldn't have the wall breaking potential that I uh, the Conkelder has. So I'm going to go straight into my switch into this thing as he goes straight for the Zen Headbutt. And that's going to do so much to me, even though I'm fully f defensive. That just shows how much of a monster Mega Metacham is. Um, even though I don't really like it because it's, like, slow. But I it just had a really good matchup against my team, so I guess that's that. Um, so, yeah, he's going to do that. Um, if he went for another Zen Headbutt, uh, good play. But, um... He does go for the Ice Punch here, which is good for me because then I can get the damage off on it so I can kill it with my Sneasel. I can out-prioritize it with Ice Shard or Fake Out, whichever one I choose. So he's going to get some Grass Terrain Recovery, and I'm going to kill it with the Fake Out. One big threat gone. Thank goodness. <laughs> Massive threat. So he just breaks back in Scrafty, and then uh, I can go Conkelder now. I don't care if he knocks off my Violite. He can go for Green Punch, but that's not going to do too much to me. As here, uh, I probably I do go for knockoff. Good job, me. Um, uh, it does get disabled, which I mean it doesn't really matter because like I can't. Th this thing does have. To, uh, I do have to do that when you switch in Sneasel. Uh, I switch in my Sneasel expecting the ice beam or the I expected the D I expected the D bond so maybe he was going to take Conkelder down with me. Um this time I decided to pivot into my Mudsdale so I could get up a uh, a boost. Uh I click Toxic and then he misses a Dragon Tail which is a little unfortunate but I don't think it's that unfortunate. 
So he's gonna go now into his Suicune and I click Earthquake. And from the very start of this battle, I was very, very afraid of uh, Subcoma and Suicune. Mainly because I only have two water resists. I'm using one of them's Rotom Wash and he has a Bulu. So, you know, not, not the greatest thing for me. So I see here Earthquake's not going to break a sub, and I'm very scared. So uh, I just go for a Toxic. Uh, if he goes for a sub, fine. If he goes for Protect, fine. So I go for Toxic, and then now I'm going to go into my Explode, expecting the sub, but he just goes for Scald, which is fine. He does Burn, which kind of does suck, because it does get a little bit extra chip on my Explode. Uh, I go for Boom Burst, not really caring if... Um, Heatran comes in. But Boom Burst chunks this thing. It shows that he's Fizz Def. So I'm just going to sack off my Exploit as I get massive damage off on this thing, which is really, really good that I did. I'm going to go to my Conkeldor here, and he's going to actually make a really smart play and go for Protect, because now Scald is a roll to kill me. And um, he gets the roll. So that's not good for me at all. Which it forces in my Sneasel. Well, now I have to click Knock Off. And get rid of his lefties as he goes for Scald and weakens me very, very harshly. And I go for knockoff and can I believe? Here, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm can't, I just can't play this game because matchup is so bad. Uh, he can kill me there with fake out. So now it's four to two. Things are not looking good at all for me. But he is gonna sack the Scrafty here as I go for Moonblast. So that's good at least. He's going to bring in the Heat Trend. I'm thinking this thing is either Scarf or Shookaberry, so I'm going to go out into my Mad Mudsdale and Scout. He goes for Flash Cannon, which is fine. Um, and as he goes into here to Suicune, I'm going to rest up, and then I'll be back at full health, which is good. Um, and then I'll also be awake. So I'm going to go for, uh, as he Toxics me, which is literally no big deal because I can rest it off. He goes for Earthquake and knocks me out. Um, this is going to bring in Bulu, and at this point, I'm not switching in Diancie. I have to sack this thing off before Diancie can switch back in. So what I'm going to do is click Heavy Slam repeatedly, as he actually goes for Substitute, which is actually great, because um, weakens it, and it's going to put a range of HP Poison for my Diancie. As to this turn, he just decides to go for Wood Hammer, take a buttload of Recoil, and Life Orb as well. Um... And if this it and if it's um, Shuka Heatran or Scarf Heatran, I've lost at this point. It's just a matter of whether I lose one zero or two zero, but I will lose one zero, so that's good. Um, oh, and I just spoiled that. It's uh, Shuka Berry Heatran, but yeah, I mean, good game. I mean, very very bad matchup on my end. Um, and I'm complaining about the matchup a lot, but it really does affect you when prepping when you have to prep for so much and you only have so little um but i'm not i'm not gonna miss credit base at all he did he did play very well he did uh he did deserve the win so uh next week will actually really tomorrow because this is late um well not not that the video is getting uploaded tomorrow but we're playing tomorrow me and uh sparks the carving will be playing tomorrow and i really need to win that game Luckily for this game, though, it didn't cripple my differential too much. So we're at three and four and pl plus two. So if we beat Sparks, we'll be still we'll be back in a good spot. So we'll be hopeful of that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.